Hey y'all, Toad here. Wow, we're back on the bench. And uh, for those who've been following my channel for any length of time, might remember these little LEDs. Uh, here's here's uh, was one in the package. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. It's got little little probes sticking out here, and um, the idea was to use these for lighting. And uh, I've done a few experiments. Uh, some have been successful, others haven't. Um, one of the examples of successful is I've got one of these as the license plate light in Crunchy now. So yes, I have probably the brightest license plate light uh, below the Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> and that did work. Uh, one of the ones that didn't, and which is why this one has such short little probes, is I tried to daisy chain a bunch of these together and, uh, and run them all to make a big light for the Airstream. Didn't work. Don't know why. Uh, they lights up fine when you put positive and negative here. If you daisy chain them all together, do positive and negative, they no light up. So, uh, probably going to have to get some of the uh, wire holders for these at a later date. But until then, uh, I just need to continue the LED learning curve. And uh, what I got here, these just came in today. Uh, first of all are the extrusions. That's a little piece of aluminum with the uh, diffuser in it. I got two of those and uh, They're a meter long and then one of these movie reels of LEDs Now in, in my local store the only one who had these uh, was Pep Boys and it was 45 bucks ish somewhere like that just for this and it was the uh, 3630s, which I'll get into later, uh, whereas these are the 5050s. Um, well, the heck with I'll just do it now. Uh, that means 5mm by 5mm LEDs. And the bottom line is, I, from my research, I'm assuming these are brighter. That's how I feel it's going to be. Now, when you get it on the reel, there it is. And then it's got the jack on the end. And, of course, the first thing we got to do is just plug them up and take a picture. I don't have one of these jacks. I probably never will in my use. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, snip this off and take it over there to a, to a battery. And when I do so, we'll hook it up and we'll see how bright they are. Okay. All right. Now, I've turned off all the lights out here in the shop, except for one 40-watt bulb that's way on the other side, just so I can see to walk across without killing myself. And... Uh, Depending on how things are going, you can probably see a little bit of light um, up in the upper right corner of your screen. That's the battery charger that's attract, attached to this battery. So let's go ahead and go for it. Wow. All right. Well, there is the light. And, well... Let me just kind of, we're over here in the corner, but let me just kind of pan around a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm pan around a little bit. This is just the corner of my shop. And uh, looking up, there's my TV. And, well, I think <laughs> that's pretty dang bright. That is really bright. And as I roll them off, it's actually lighting up the room. All right. Well, I think the brightness is going to be awesome as far as, uh, you know, it's worth progressing, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So let me put some of this into one of those uh, holders and extrusions and we'll come right back. Now, just so you can see what I've done here, is I have my battery sitting, and it's wired to one of the fixtures. Now, let me see. Uh, what did I do with the other fixture? There it is. Just so we know what's going on, it's one of these fixtures. It's a meter long, the extrusion and the diffuser that slides right in and our LED strip 
is in there. Now it's not, uh, there are some, there's some 3M tape I'll show you on the back to light it all, to uh, hold it, but just want to give you an idea what the test is going to be. There's our strip just kind of up there. Then here at the end, I covered up the, the tail end of the strip that goes over to the rest of the uh, deal, which is just the, the roll is sitting right there. I didn't want that light to interfere because what we're going to do is we'll try and put the camera up as high as I can and you can see where it is and then we're going to start turning out lights and then we'll turn it on. So let me turn out the overhead light. And let me turn out the other small fluorescent I have over here to the right of the camera. I don't know if you can tell on the camera what I'm doing, if the light is changing. But what we have now is the bench lit by two. Yeah, it's my messy bench. You have to deal with it. Anyway, it's lit by two. Uh, fluorescent fixtures that are that are four feet long and each have two fluorescent lights in it uh, right about here is where the leftmost one begins and goes four feet that way then there's a a break you know what let's put this right underneath here let's put this right underneath the four footer show you more of my messy bench now you're looking right right dead underneath the four footer okay so you can see how the light goes I really wish I could put these side by side but I can't but let's turn those off one by one there goes the main one the other one's about uh, starts about a foot off screen and here goes the other one now the only thing illuminating that bench is that same 40 watt bulb that's about 10 feet away um, and I what I'm seeing on my monitor screen yeah you're not seeing anything on that at all so try not to crash into things too much here it is the test BAM now that is one meter of these LEDs and let me, uh, I gotta hold this with one. Actually, you know what? If it goes off, pardon me, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little clamp on this so it stays on. Yeah, you're getting to see it in real time, man. Not a lot of pre production going on here, huh? All right. Let's see. On there, on there. Have you, are, you, are, you, are you thoroughly blinded yet? Hopefully that'll hold. Cheap little clamp. All right. So. Now we're back to the bench. And let's do that same little panning around we did it a minute ago. There it is. Right here. And the beginning of it is right there at the battery. And then you can see them kind of lit up behind. But that light is not the light off of the uh, behind the towel isn't coming down here it isn't coming down into this viewing area there's the bench in other words i guess what i'm trying to say as i get the camera set up is that the light that's behind the towels isn't coming this way everything you're looking at is from above as you can see by the shadows all that light's coming from above and uh, let me back off a little bit here so you can see exactly in context how much it's lighting up. All right, I guess we're kind of close. Now I'm about, uh, oh, 10 feet away. And you're looking at 
the back of my shop. The uh, batteries and television I showed you earlier are right there. And uh, the fluorescent lights you were that were lit up, obviously this is one of the ones I turned off right there. But they were right here and then right behind the other one you can see the hood of the fluorescent is right there and it's off but um huh, i'm not gonna i'm not unhappy with that <coughs> that is actually more light than i expected to come off of it now is that enough to read by no no it's not is it enough to area light the airstream i think so and keep in mind i'm putting up two of these uh side by side in each room now the other question is the under cabinet lighting in the airstream oh yeah oh yeah i really think this uh i may have the problem solved all right, so maybe in the next video you'll see them in the Airstream. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, it's winter time. You know, right now I'm working on a lot of stuff that's, uh, well, not out there because it gets bloody cold out there. It's just that simple. So building these lights is one of the things I can do in the shop and test them. So, all right. Well, well let me show you a little bit about what, uh, what came in the package. Now let's leave the lights on because I think it'll be adequate to do that. Do the finish the video by the light of the uh, of the LEDs themselves. All right. So what I did is I got two of these. One obviously it's on. That's the empty one. I got the roll. The roll's 15 meters, uh, which is a little over 16 feet of of stuff. So I'm going to have some left over because uh, I've only got two meters of this. I didn't want to buy too too much until I was able to test it. Uh, will I be buying more? I think it's a safe bet <laughs> that this this stuff might be uh, all throughout the trailer. And then what I got here, these are, I believe, the little stops for the ends to give you a uh, a finished look. Let me see if I can get this thing in the camera. There's so much stuff on this bench right now. Oh, not the arm. How about, there we go. It's the ends to cap this off and make them look nice, as well as what looks like fittings to allow you to screw the thing to a ceiling. And I can't, I wish I could remember the exact cost. I can't, but I know it was under $50. And I do remember when I ordered this stuff, and yeah, I did get it through eBay. Um, actually, that might be not true now that I think about it no I got this through Amazon I definitely got this through Amazon um, the cost was comparable to going to Pet Boys and just buying the LEDs so I'm sub fifty dollars into new fixtures for the that I think are gonna work fine for the Airstream and I don't believe these extrusions were very expensive at all. Uh, I think it was, I want to say they were $13. So for under the cabinet, you're probably looking at one more. Uh, and keep in mind, I've got 15 meters of it, so I can buy 15 more of these and fill them up. Don't know if I'll do that. Um, being a cheapskate, I might find a better way than putting in these extrusions. And the way that works, you know, I'll probably do a video on it later, but there's 3M tape, like I said, on the back of the LEDs. The three M tape sticks to here, and the rest is, <laughs> I would have to call that somewhat obvious. All right, well, this video's gone on long enough. Point is, so far, so good. Hopefully, next time you see these LEDs, they'll be being tested inside the Airstream. All right, y'all, fair winds. See you next time around.